Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Today we're gonna to talk about how to connect batteries in the series configuration. So if you saw my video on um, parallel battery connections, this is another video and another way that you can wire your batteries up and it's a series battery connection. And the reason I do this is for my trolling motor. So I have three 12 volt batteries that I wire in series and that basically becomes a 36 volt system that powers my 36 volt trolling motor. You can do this for a 20 or 24 volt trolling motor, 36 volt trolling motor. So it basically allows you to take uh, 12 volt batteries and connect them so that they add up to the 36 volts that you want. So the way series works is that you'll take three 12 volt batteries or two 12 volt batteries and you'll connect those and it'll end up equaling, it'll add the voltage and it'll equal 36 volts. However, it's not gonna change your reserve capacity. So like parallel, whenever we connected them together in parallel, we added the um, amp hours and we ended up getting 250 amp hours for my, uh, my battery configuration I have over there. However, each one of these 12 volt batteries is a 100 amp hour battery. So by connecting them in series, we don't do anything with the amp hours. So it ends up being a 36 volt system with 100 amp hours. That's just something that's a little different than parallel and something that's important to know whenever you're wiring these things up. Let's get into how we wire these things and make sure that we have all our connections right. On the parallel, what we did was we took a positive to a positive and a negative to a negative. In this case, what we're doing is we're basically taking the positive into this first battery and then we're taking a jumper wire from the negative to the positive of the second battery. And then we're taking a jumper wire from the negative to the positive of the next battery. And then we're taking the negative off of the trolling motor to the negative of this third battery. So basically the only wires we have coming from the trolling motor are going to the first battery as positive and the last battery as negative. And then these two wires in between are just the jumper cables. So if you kind of follow the path, it's going from here all the way through the whole system. And so that's important to know is that you're not going parallel wires like this. You're basically following the whole loop and keeping it going in series. So I'll go ahead and put a schematic up on the screen and it may be a little bit easier to make sense, maybe a little bit easier to see and make sense than trying to see inside my battery compartment. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of wires going on, it's a little confusing. But basically you're gonna have those jumper cables running from the negative to the positive, negative to the positive, and then you're gonna have the positive wire off of your um, trolling motor going to the first battery and the negative wire going to the last battery. So you're only going to have your trolling motor on each end and then you're going to have those jumper wires in between. This is going to basically be the same setup for um, 24 volt versus 36 volt. The only thing is you're not going to have that extra wire as the uh, jumper wire. Since you only have two batteries instead of three batteries, you have one less jumper wire. So you're still going to have the positive going to one end of the batteries and the negative going to the, um, the last battery in line. And you're going to have that jumper wire in between. So it's basically going to be the same. You just have one battery that's taken out of that for your 24 volt system. Hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully it helped you guys out if you have to take your batteries out or if you have a battery go goes bad and you need to replace it. Um, I like to recommend always take a picture of how the wires were in there before you start unhooking wires because I've had issues before where you forget where something goes. So take a picture and hopefully this video will help you um, connect them back into series if you have to replace a trolling motor battery or something like that. But if you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.